Hello, I'm Mark Reed, a Senior Lecturer in Computational and Physical Chemistry. I would like to welcome you to this Year 3 Chemistry Options module. In this brief introductory video, I'll be addressing three key questions. What is it about? What will it cover? And how will it be taught? Well, firstly, this is a 20 credit module taken by all Single Honours Chemistry students. And the courses include areas of Computational, Organic, Solid State, bio-inorganic, medicinal and polymer chemistry. You do not have to take related courses and you have a free choice of any of the four courses from the six that are offered. However, the prerequisites for the computational and bio-organic courses are the related electives in year two. So the six courses offered in this module are advanced computational chemistry methods, which I delivered jointly with Dr. Mary Jane Tremaine, and these extend the simulation methods from last year's elective course. Principles of Medicinal Chemistry by Dr. David Fox. Polymer Synthesis by Dr. Francisco Fernandez Trillo. Enzyme Catalysis and Reaction Mechanism by Dr. John Wilkie. Molecular Solids by Dr. Mary Jane Tremaine again. And finally, Bio Inorganic Chemistry with Dr. Anna Peacock. Further description of each course and the corresponding topics is provided on this Canvas page by the respective lecturer. As with other courses, the founding lectures are grouped into four topics, with each topic being delivered within a single week. Please note that like core modules, the comprising option modules will also be released on Canvas a topic per week. You are required to complete these topics in order marking the relevant pages as done before progressing to the next topic throughout the term. It is thus important that you know which options you have signed up to and only undertake those topics associated with your choices of module. The module will be taught via a combination of lectures, and there are 10 of these per course, in conjunction with blended learning media, other forms of active learning material will be included on the Canvas pages to scaffold or support your learning as well. With the exception of the Computational Chemistry course, all others are assessed for examination in May, June in a single paper. The duration will be two hours for those enrolled in the Computational Chemistry module and three hours for those undertaking four examinable courses. The Computational Chemistry module will be assessed through coursework with the addition of class tests and the deadline for the various assignments provided via Canvas. The two parts of the Computational Chemistry course are weighted equally, each comprising 20% of the course marks for coursework and 30% of the course marks awarded for the class tests. The module team section of the website provides contact details for the course lecturers, the educational support office, as well as a variety of other supporting contacts including the Chemistry Welfare Officer. Finally, I look forward to welcoming you back in person soon and wish you all the very best as you engage with these topical and informative courses.